I'm getting tired. So this is this week's final project. Um, what we have is we have six balls going around, okay? And we have every time they hit the walls, they turn more red, okay? So every time they collide, they turn more red, which means we add a private variable that starts at zero no matter what, uh, that, that deals with the mount red, and then increases every time there's a collision. So you have to uh, put that in the right place. Um, and you also have to put fill in the right place of your class, okay? So all in your class, you have to figure that out. Um, and they all start with a random velocity, okay? In, uh, in uh, processing, I can get a random number between negative three and three by going random negative three and three. But that value is a float. And so you'll get a little red underline that says, you know, you're trying to initialize this thing that's looking for an initial uh, integer with the float. So what we have to do in that case, and it's kind of an important concept, so it's good we're introducing it, is cast it. So we're allowed to cast the float to an int, and all it does is drop the decimal. So it does what you would expect, in which case, you want to do something like this, and that's how we cast. We put the type that we want to cast to in parentheses. So this is a float, and this whole thing will be an integer. So if random returns 2.33, which is a value between negative 3 and 3, then int will be, uh, then the int will be 3. Now, if you do something like this, you may get a velocity of zero, zero, okay, depending on what happens. So, so notice that if, if a ball just stands still, it's perfectly possible if, that, if you're doing this, okay, that your ball might stand still, okay? Uh, it's rare, but it, but it can happen. Uh, look, they're all bright up. So you can, uh, you can change the color uh, any way you want, but... Um, make it a private variable, set it to zero, right? When it, when it first, when this thing starts, no matter what. So you don't have to pass a value in for it, right? Think about that. Um, and then, uh, yeah, and then make sure these things are getting more and more red as time goes on. And make sure that when you initialize these balls, you initialize them with random velocities, okay? Both in the X and Y direction. And if you can do all that, that's the end of the project for this week. Um, there's a few other ones uh, that maybe I can, I can, if you're interested, we can talk about because they're kind of fun. But we'll do a fun one. We'll, we'll do a real fun one next week based on this. So this is motivating the next thing, which uh, kind of works. It's worked a few weeks in a row. The last thing motivates the very next thing, which is kind of fun. All right. Well, good job. I'll see you next week. Hand in the assignment. And yeah, we're, we're rolling.